one one little thing I wanted to touch on real quick, if we got a minute here, is just I know we talked briefly about the Intel Project Alloy. And Intel did announce at CES that there was going to be a partner, a third party partner that is going to bring out a Project Alloy headset uh, in the fourth quarter of 2017. And speaking of maybe headsets, like, is there a product coming out in 2017 that might be something you jump on? You know, is there something out there? Project Alloy is really interesting to me because they, they showed off this one demo where Intel talks about merged reality. We know about augmented reality, virtual reality, mixed reality, and now Intel is talking about merged reality. And this is just another marketing term, but their idea on merged reality is really interesting to me because what it is is imagine yourself in your living room and you have your sofa and you have your rocking chair and you have your uh, coffee table for example, right? And so then you put on your Project Alloy headset and you you might have to like look around the room for a couple of seconds or whatever, unless it's already scanned the room. But what it does is it scans the room and it knows your sofa and your coffee table and it knows that you have a lamp right there. And then what it does is it puts you into a game where your sofa is there. Your, your, you know, your, your coffee table is there, but maybe your coffee table is not a coffee table. Maybe it's some type of space uh, table with like battle maps on it or something, but your sofa is there. And like they showed a demo where like these guys were like jumping on the sofa, but there was like things going on all around them. And some people were saying, that sucks. I don't want to see my sofa. That's going to take me out of the experience. But I was thinking, well, wait a minute. When your physical body, when you see a sofa in VR and you can climb on it and flop all over it while you're shooting aliens or something, I think it actually adds more immersion because here's a physical thing that you see in VR and your brain is like, wait a minute, this thing is perfectly mapped. I'm filling it now with my physical senses of touch and it's here and I'm physically here. This is grounding me in this space. I actually think it might ground you more. I know in one way it does subtract a little bit of the immersion because you want to be in a completely different world and you see your sofa there. You're not in a completely different world, but at the same time, it physically grounds you in that space, coffee tables and all that, being able to walk around your house. It's almost like HoloLens or Magic Leap because they just, they have those two little cameras on there. And so they're doing this like mixed reality type stuff. Did either of you guys, I'll kick it over to Gary. Gary, did you see any of this demo? What do you think about this Project Alloy? Do you think it's a, a non-starter or is this something to be interested in? I think it's definitely something to be interested in. Everything I've seen about it does seem, well, very interesting. It's difficult really to get um, an idea on because, if they're, if they're saying that a third party is going to manufacture this headset from the technology that they're developing and it's going to be released later on this year, I would think it's going to, I mean, I would think the cost of that would be quite high um, to get something like this out this year. But having said that, the, the demos that they're doing are very, very impressive. This was just one part of the demos that they're showing off with Project Alloy. And to my mind, it was probably the most impressive out of all, out of all, all the ones that I saw. Um, it's something that where you could map a larger area than you because project alloy has inside out tracking so you can map large areas you, you can take it it's more portable you can take it to various places map different areas and then have an experience in a in the same game but in a completely different area different surroundings and that will make the game different as well so it's got a lot of potential this this kind of thing um and this is just one of a number of headsets that is being talked about where they're having inside out tracking you know you've got uh, the oculus santa cruz demo we know almost nothing about this except it's a standalone inside out tracking headset and you've also got this thing which i read about today actually called eonite which is um it's not a headset it's more it's based on software which again works with existing headsets with the addition of a, of a sensor where you can do sort of uh inside out tracking as well so these are all things that are very interesting anything we can get where these headsets are more portable and have these extra features that i didn't even consider i, I didn't even consider some of the things that project alloy is capable of um so it's just a really exciting time 
Yeah, Steve, what do you think about this? Because Intel as a company, Intel is kind of at a crossroads as a company. Um, we're, we're moving to mobile processors more and more. And then when it comes to artificial intelligence, actually the GPU manufacturers like NVIDIA and AMD, if you look at their stock, their stock is like, zzz, I mean, it's just going straight up because what they found out is that running like a million parallel processes is better than having like a main processor. And so Intel, they find themselves between a rock and a hard place. And one of the reasons I think this Project Alloy thing is so interesting is because Intel really has to do something or they could be on the outside looking in. And so I think Intel is kind of looking at this VR thing, like if we can get in here on this VR with our real sense technology and all of that, and it's it's all in one, like the, the computing power is in there. Intel is able to do, uh, you know, they, they can put a G, they can put the graphics processing right there with the regular processing in an integrated chip and get it relatively small. We just don't know if it's going to have that kind of power, but let me send it over to Steve. Steve, what do you think about this? Is this going to be Intel's strategy to maybe create a new market for themselves? Per, perhaps, you know, I, I don't, I, I really hadn't considered what you just said, you know, about uh, Intel's uh, path long term. Uh, you know, there's probably some truth to that. You know, I, I think I think we'll, we're always going to need processors, and so long as they can do good there, you know, they're, they're probably safe. Um, but yeah, there, I think there's no question that they wanted to to expand their portfolio a bit, right? So um, it, the the project alloy, from from what I've seen of it, it it is very interesting and it's very creative tech, and I, I certainly hope to be able to try it someday. Um, the the idea though of, of mapping in say your furniture and if you're playing a war game your sofa becomes a pile of sandbags or something that you shoot over and hide behind that's cool uh, but I I think it may you know if you play in one room it, that that runs into the problem of always having an object there unless you you uh, um, or, you know, have a wife like mine that likes to rearrange the furniture every three months, you know, you're gonna, you know, gonna run into the same object. So I, I think there's some immediate downsides, but, but being able to, to, um, you know, try new places though. So, so that's an upside. So there's, there's pros and cons, you know, I think it's technology that, that needs to, to be fleshed out a little more. Um, but but it, it's it's exciting and, and they're 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 doing things that that are that are new and, and creative and that's only going to help further the the industry you know there's all sorts of ways to solve uh, the problems that we have of, of, of putting our face in a mask and then being in our room or, or multiple rooms in, in in our houses right like a, that's a problem and, and anything they can do to creatively leverage that um, can possibly go a long way. Thank you.